Welcome to another video. Let's do our first probability question on this channel. So if you're just, if this is your first time watching any of my videos, well, it is the first time I would be attempting a probability problem. So here we go. What is the probability that if you randomly arrange these five digits, it's gonna form a five digit number that is divisible by four? Well, that leaves us with so many things to consider. Number one, you have to know the number of five digits you can generate by rearranging these digits. Number two, you have to know that it has to be a five digit number because what we're doing is just rearrangement. Okay, we're not generating numbers anywhere. We just wanna find it's from the arrangement. So we're not leaving any digits out and we're not repeating any digits. We're just rearranging what we have here. Um, we also need to know when it's divisible by four because then we'll be able to calculate the probability of picking a random number that is divisible by four from the entire sample space. Let's get into it. So like I said from the beginning, any number we generate has to have five digits, no digits left out because we're just doing a rearrangement, a shuffling. So we have all five digits and we're gonna start with, hey, there's something else we need to know. When do you know whether a number is divisible by four? Because that's the key to this problem. Well, a number is divisible by four if the last two digits form a number divisible by four. Now this is a sixth grade knowledge that you get. Um, in sixth grade, if your teacher made you learn it, any number is divisible by four if the last two digits form a number divisible by four. So what we do is we're gonna have to deal with the last two digits first before we can go to the beginning because that's the rule. But before we start, let's talk about the number of possible numbers you can generate, whether they are divisible by four or not. So let's start. So we wanna see how many numbers we can generate by just rearranging these letters, okay, these numbers. So because it's gonna be a five digit number, we know that the very first digit of any number is not zero. So if we wanna pick any of these numbers to be the first digit, we have four options. Good. To pick the second number, it could be any of the four left, since we've used one here, so it's gonna be four. The next number will have three options left. The next number will have two options, and this will be one option. So what do we have? The total, this is multiplication by the way, the total is gonna be 16 times six. That's harder to do. Why don't we do 12 times four? Okay, 12 times four is 48, and 48 times two is gonna be 96. Ah, 16 times six is 96. Wow, that's terrible. I didn't know that. Okay, so that's what we have as our answer. Oh, and that's 24 times four, it makes sense. Okay, so this is the total number of numbers you can generate by simply rearranging these five digit numbers. Now, of these 96 numbers, how many of them are divisible by four? Okay, let's start that one. So to get all the numbers divisible by four, we have to recognize that the last two digits must form a number divisible by four. So what can we have as our last two digits? Well, there are two ways. You can easily just say, okay, if I put what combinations of these will form numbers divisible by four, okay? And we can just make a list of them, possible last two digits. Let's see. Um, well, zero one form in, is zero one divisible by, I mean, if it's the last two digits, zero one is not divisible by four, zero two is not divisible by four, zero three is not, but zero four is divisible by four. So we can write, all the possible last two digits, possible last two digits. Okay, so zero four is one, zero four, hey, come on, zero four 
is a possibility. So if you write any number, no matter how long the number is, if it ends in 0, 4, the number is divisible by 4. Okay, so 104, 204, 304, 3104, 3704, 3904, those numbers are all divisible by 4. That's just the rule for divisibility by 4. So let's go to the next one. Um, we've done 0. So let's start. If the last two digits are 1, 2, definitely 12 is divisible by 4. Um, 1, 3 is not. 1, 4 is not. So we're done. Let's go to um, 2. 2, 3 is not divisible by 4. 2, 4 is divisible by 4. We're good. Okay, so let's start with 3. 3, 0 is not divisible by 4. 3, 1 is not. But 3, 2 is divisible by 4. So 32. Let's go again. Um, 4, 0 is divisible by 4. That's nice. Okay, we have 4, 1 is not. 4, 2 is not divisible by 4. 4, 2 is not divisible by 4. 4, 3 is not divisible by 4. Okay, we're done. So these are all the possible last two digits. Okay, <laughs> you can't mess this up because if you mess this up, you can't get your answer. So let's go. Now you're going to treat all of these as, as blocks, right? You treat them as blocks because, hey, there's another number, 2, 0. Did I write 2, 0? No, 2, 0 is also divisible by 4. I almost left that out. Okay, so we have 2, 0, 4, 0, we have 0, 4, we have 1, 2, we have 2, 4, and we have 2, 0, okay, uh, and we have 4, 0. I think that's it. So these are all the possibilities. I, when I was going over this, okay, I, I didn't do it this way, but I like this way. Just list them out since they're not that many. So now, what do I do? I'm just going to treat these as blocks. So... Instead of having five digits, I'm going to have just four treating this. So let's say that when end ends in zero, four. So if this is the block, it means there's zero, four here. What can my first digit be? Since I've used zero and four, how many options do I have here? Well, I have three options left. I have one, two, three left. So here, I've fixed this to be one, just one option, this one. Here, I have three options. Here, I'm going to have two options. Here, I have one option. So how many numbers? Six. That's the first choice. So this is gone. If it ends in one, two, let's do that. If it ends in one, two, I have one option. This will always be one option. Okay, I've used one and two. One and two. Well, how many options do I have for the first digit? Well, I can't use zero as the first digit, so I only have two options, three and four. Two options. Okay, now I have a block here. I have one option. I put one number here. So here, so I've used one, two, and one of these. So I only have two options left, and this would be one. Okay, and this simplifies to four. Okay, this is done. Let's go here, 24. If my last two digits, it's funny how 42 is not divisible by four. Isn't that confusing? <laughs> okay, let's go back. So here, I'm gonna try 24 now. So 24, we have one option here. We're gonna, um, so we've, we've used two and four. So we only have two options left because we can't use zero as a first digit. So we're gonna have two options here. And here we're going to have two also, and it is one. So another four. Let's go to the next one. We have 32. With 32, we're going to have one option here. So the same thing, the same thing. Two by two times one is going to be another four. Okay, so... We're done with 32. Let's go to 40. For 40, here we have 1. Here. How many options do we have? Now, because 0 is locked in here, we can use any of the digits remaining. So it's going to be the same thing as this. So it's going to be 3, 2, and 1, because those numbers are free. 3, 2, and 1. And this gives me 
6. And in the case of 20, is the same thing, right? So it's going to be 3, 2, 1, and this is going to be 1. So this gives me 6 also. So the total number of numbers that can be divisible by, like that are divisible by 4 with these numbers rearranged are, I mean, is, hey, my English is terrible tonight. Okay, here we go. The total here is equal to 30. 30 numbers divisible by 4. So let's find our probability. Remember, your probability is desired outcome. Desired outcome divided by total number of sample or the sample space, okay, or possible outcomes. So, so the desired outcome will be numbers divide, divisible by 4, but the possible kinds of numbers you can get by just rearranging would be 96. So if we do our division, here we go. It's going to be 30 divided by 96. And the answer is what number divides 30 and also divides 96? 6. 6 divides 30 five times. And 6 divides 96 16 times. Here we go. Your probability is 5 over 16, which you can compute using decimal or whatever. But I'm not that good, great at math. <laughs> Never stop learning because those who stop learning stop living. Bye-bye.